Hey everybody, me again. Uh, with a better microphone this time. Apparently the last one was done entirely with my web camera. They say you hate your first 10 videos, and I totally understand why. Hopefully you'll get a little bit of better, better sound quality here. Um, a few of the later videos going over some of this source code were also done with that web camera, but I'll try and clean it up a little bit for you. So let's take a look at this game I'm talking about, this watered-down Bomberman. Go ahead and hit F5 here to start it up. You will note that we have a player name that is taken directly from your Steam ID up here. Uh, it's probably better not to have more than one person using the same Steam ID as that can confuse the players list. But this is what we will be known as in the game. I have it set to Enet. Steam also exists. And this big list here is all about uh, the other lobbies. Basically, this is every other lobby on Steam on the game ID which we are using, which currently is 480. It goes by the key of name and then the number of players, and not all of them have defined that, so some of them are blank. Refresh refreshes it, host hosts on it. Let's start with Enet, though, so you can see what this is like for two people as that can run on the same machine. One hits host, the other one types in the IP address or goes with the default, which is the local machine, and hits join. Then the host alone can hit start game. I forgot to change my name there, but as you can see, it's very much a Bomberman clone. And it is totally synchronized. And if I move this just a little, Maybe move this just a little so you can see it. You can see that on both instances, we have the same character actions going. Now let's get out of that for a moment. And it does detect uh, disconnections as errors here. I don't know if I agree with that, but I rolled with it. It was the original design. So let's look at how we can get this going on Steam. I have my laptop open with another account open on it. And I'm starting it here. Now, I'm not recording off of both machines, so some of this you're going to have to take on faith or experiment with yourself. But if we switch to the Steam tab, you will see a list here of every other uh, lobby on the game server, uh, which in this case is 480. Thankfully, nothing too bad. These are all other people, but that's name to number joined. Name is a field which does not have to be entered it's just part of a dictionary it could have been literally anything so it's showing up as blank for many of them now if i jump over to my laptop and punch host with my other machine it has switched to host mode but you don't see it yet you need to refresh it here after that it's this guy so i will be clicking on that that's with one person joining being the host and after a moment, a little bit of consideration on Steam's end, you can see we have Penguinator, which is the other account, and me. Start is grayed out because I am not the server here, but if I punch it there, it should begin the game. What you're seeing now was done entirely over Steam, and it is perfectly synchronized on both ends, just like it was with Enet. That fluid flexibility between the two is what I will be showing you how to do. I will be going over the source code for many of the remaining videos and discussing why I made the decisions I did for your consideration and your projects, though there are certainly other ways to do it. And I will see you in the next video when we start discussing how the lobby system works and then the game state.